I'm going to say Boydie, in terms of Thomas Frank, I mean, he had that challenging time and he arrived back in 2018, just the one win in 10. In terms of <coughs> challenging period since then, yep. this is by far and away his most challenging, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. Um, but as a manager, you're going to get that. Mm. Um, it's how you, uh, you, you respond and come out the other side of it. Um, you know, we speak about, I think we always speak about the forward players and how big a miss they've been. And there's no doubt that Tony has been a miss this season. But the last few weeks as well, um, Pinnock missing for, for Brentford is huge. Um, you know, I, I just think what he... But, whoops, sorry. I mean, no, I mean that, that is a run look, is look tough. Look at that running yeah, I mean, I'm just, I was yeah. looking at it there. I mean, the running is very tough. But, mm. you know, I think Brentford, over the years, they've, they've been a solid base that has allowed them as a team to function, to get the ball forward, to create the opportunity. Whereas it's just all disjointed at this moment in yeah. time. Um, and I'm sure Thomas Frank just wants to get it back to, um, you know, get as many players as he can, back yeah. fit, kick on from there. But when you look at fixtures, it's going to be very difficult for them, that's for sure. How much is that being one of the significant factors? Because, I mean, Ben Mee's now out for the rest of the season, we understand. And you look at total number of injuries, it's difficult to find clubs who haven't been affected by multiple injuries. Newcastle leading the way. But when you look at total minutes missed this season because of injuries, Brentford sits second in the table. They have been majorly hampered this season, too. <clears throat> they have, and, and it's not just to, to players, squad players. It's, it's, I think, sort of seven players that could potentially have, have started, which is a lot. You know, they might have a, a decent squad, but do they have the depth to, to cope with that? I don't think they have. So that's bound to have an impact. You're losing leaders in, in the likes of, of Rico Henry defensively and going forward, and Buemo, who obviously was brilliant filling in for, for Ivan Tony. And, yeah, he's been through times before where he's got them out of, of trouble. So he's certainly the man to, to do that. But it is, it's just waiting for those injured players to, to try and come back fit. But pretty tough run of fixtures coming up. You know, you sorry to interrupt those, but you know, if there's no, because he was going to come in, so I don't, <laughs> like, I, like, I don't like to be rude. But you know, if there's no Ben Mee and there's no Pinnock and there's mm. no Henry and there's no Hickey, then you do worry for them defensively, yeah. don't you, Dawes? Being a defender, you're missing those key players. What do you think, Dawes? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a concern. I, I'm a big fan of Thomas Frank and what Brentford uh, do at that football club. The five points ab above Luton at this moment yeah. in time. I see that they play Burnley there and it, it could go, come down to that game. I think they've got enough yeah. to, to stay in this league. They go to Wolves a couple of weeks ago. They'll get Luton and, as well. And, yeah, so they've got games, but it could come to them. Mm. Yeah. So it's a six-pointer and, and I think that you, you look at the Wolves game and they've only won two games in, in, in 12. That's a slight concern. Uh, but I, I think they've got enough to stay up. When you've got an Ivan Tony in your team, mm. yeah you will score goals. Mm. I do see that. But the problem for me, and the biggest miss in that team that's gone underrated and should have had an England cap, is Rico Henry. Mm. Uh, I think he's probably one of the most underrated players in the Premier League for what he does for Brentford, the goal forward, and he covers so much ground defensively and so quick, and he just gets them out of trouble on more occasions, and he's been a huge, huge miss for them. Uh, Merce, let's talk about a, a team you've touched upon already, Luton Town, sitting in the relegation zone as things stand. And, and when you look at what happened against Manchester City in the FA Cup midweek, we, we talk about their togetherness, their fighting spirit. How damaging have the last few days been for them? Oh, a reality check. I mm. think it has been the last four games. They've, they've been beaten in the last four games. Uh, it could happen. You'd expect that to happen. They will get, they will get days like that. They've got a wipe brush themselves down. I think they've got a hard game tonight. Mm. I think this is a hard game against Villa. I think you look at the teams that have been there this season, like your Chelsea's, your Arsenal's, your Man, Man City in the league, the Liverpool in the league, your Tottenham in the league. They've struggled. It's been mm. the odd goal. You know, teams have turned up there and gone, I ain't sure about this. Man City turn up then the next time, when they've already been there before, they know what to expect. They wipe the floor. I don't see Villa doing that today. I think Villa are a different team. You know, got different players. You know, you look at the teams that have been there and won. Burnley have won there. Sheffield United <coughs> have won there. Wow. Because it's the unusual. You know, Man City go back there again and they destroy them. I mean, these... I still... I've always said... I have always said that I think Luton would stay up and I, st I still haven't changed my mind. I still haven't changed my mind. I still think they... They're, they're going to stay so up. And then if they stay up, Merce, who's the team Who that goes? goes down? I, I, think, I think Forrest will go. I think, I think, yeah. But then again, I think Forrest is a difficult game. I think Liverpool got a hard game today against Forrest. Mm. But are they going to get points? They are going to get... I'm sure they will get points. You know, I'm not... Is that the reason you put Forrest down? Because of the, you think yeah, they'll get Yeah, yeah, because I think, I think four points is a lot of points. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You know, these, these teams at the bottom are down there for a reason. They're not, gonna, they're not serial winners yeah. of games. They're mm -hmm. not going to win four games on the trot. So they win a game here and there. And there's, there's games, when you look at that and you go, oh, 13 games left, 12 games left, you've got to remember that they've probably got to play 
three of the top yeah. four. So mm. you can wipe them games out. And then all of a sudden, it becomes nine games left to the end of the season. And when Luton, you work Luton, it out Luton's like fixtures, that... Luton's fixtures are actually OK, though, when you yeah, look at it. I think you know, Luton, Fulham, Fulham at home, Everton at home. Yeah, and I think... I think Brentford at home. It gets to the stage Bournemouth where it becomes timings of games. Mm. Timings. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you might go, oh, I've got Man City. You know, look at Brentford last season. They had Man City at home last game of the season. You're like, oh, that's, that's a nightmare game. Man City have already won the league. They go and win the game. It's timings. They're in the Champions League final. So, you know, they've got something else to play for. It's all about timings. It depends. You know, many weeks ago, Bournemouth were struggling like mad and they played Newcastle at home in the Premier yeah. League, which was a nightmare. Newcastle had 10 players out. Bournemouth win the game. They go on a little run. Timings. It's all about timings. And talking of timings, Dorse, when you, when you look at Forest last season, they had that awful run of six defeats in seven around this time of year, but then went on a run at the end of the season that kept them safe. Are they capable, from what you've seen this season, of repeating something similar? Um, in the attacking threat, I do believe they can win football matches. Uh, I think that the threat of Callum Hudson, Adoy, uh, Alanga, yeah. Uh, one year and Morgan Gibbs White, I think, is a, a, a top, top player. Defensively, I'm, I'm, I'm slightly concerned uh, in that area. Some, he's, he's chopping and changing his full backs. Tavares has come in. Toffolo came in in, in midweek. The two centre halves, it's Murillo on one other, Moussa Nicarte or Felipe. I just, I'm, I'm slightly concerned there. Um, I mean, they've got Liverpool today, which they don't, don't like going to, to the city ground. So I, I think they can pick something up there. Um, I, I think if they didn't have this deduction look coming over the shoulder, I think they would stay in the Premier League. I really believe that on, on uh, a fair ground along there. But I'm, I'm concerned that if they do get a deduction, it could be the difference.